Okay, some of you may know a little bit about tiling inside of Thin Manager, but I'm going to actually talk a little bit further about uh, interactive tiling today. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to my operator terminal that I'm shadowing right now that you see behind me, and I'm going to come over here to my uh, setup, and I'm going to enable tiling. Okay, and then I'm going to come over to tiling, and I'm going to make tiling interactive by checking that box right there. So once I do that, I'm going to click on finish, right-click, uh, and restart. And once I do that, it's going to come back up here in a second in a uh, tiled mode. Uh, and you, I'm assuming you already know a little bit about tiling. So we're going to let it come back up. And once it does come back up, everything will be in a 2x2 two two grid. It will be a, a total of four uh, monitors or, or images that you'll see on the screen. I'll come back over here and let it shadow. There we go. So now that I'm shadowing inside of here, by doing things with interactive tiling, uh, I don't have to bring that particular tiled session forward. I can simply come over here to my notepad and I can start typing into the notepad area. Or if I wanted to come over here inside of uh, this particular display client, I can open up uh, the My Computer settings and then I can close it. And this is still all in a tiled mode. Um, if I want to, I can right click like I had the settings set up for and bring that tiled session forward. I can right click and take it back out. Um, but tiling actually allows me to stay completely interactive. So if I want to come down here to Notepad and continue to type that or remove everything that I've done just based off of where my cursor is, I can easily do that. It's a very easy thing to do. Or I can go back up to my other session and open up another Notepad uh, environment if I wanted to. Whatever the application is, I'm just using simple references so you can understand, but that's what it is when you do tiling interactively. Same thing for down here in my multi-monitor camera. I could say I want to bring it full screen from right there and now it's going to bring it full screen in that that tiled mode. I can then take it back down and restore it down in that particular window. So I can completely stay interactive without opening or closing anything if I need to see more at one time. That's called tiling interactively. For more tips and gems, please visit thinmanager.com.